Hi everyone, good morning. Today is Friday and I am a little sleep deprived. So I'm kind of going slow right now, but I've got to take Penny to school and I'm going to do what I can here with you all. Um, reading out of Revelation 2, 18 to 29 to the church in Thyatira, or Thyatira, I'm not sure, and I want to make a declaration for Christmas. I'm going to do two today, and I just want to say that I love you all, and I'm praying that God is with us, as he always is, that we recognize that he's with us this morning as we get together now, and then throughout the day. So let's start our reading. It says, um, to the angel of the church of Thyatira write, These are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire, and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. Here's a map. Um, here in my Bible, and here's Asia. Here's Thyatira, and the different churches. So that he's he's speaking to this one here. And then we turn over to. <laughs> seems to be an always and nevertheless. At least he starts out with something positive each time. <laughs> nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess. By her teaching, she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she's unwilling. So I will cast her to a bed of suffering, on a bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer int intensely, unless they repent of her ways. It's inter interesting that you can repent of someone else's ways. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds. And um, I just really, every time we read in the morning, I want to see who Jesus is. Somewhere in the scriptures, he, it will reveal to us more about who he is. And right here is something that I really feel God is highlighting this morning. Um, he says that he is the one who searches our hearts and our minds. Isn't that so beautiful? He knows our hearts and he knows our minds. And it says, I will repay each of you according to your deeds. Now I say to you, to the rest of you in Thyatira, to you, who do not hold to her teaching and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets. I will not impose any other burden on you. Only hold on to what you have until I come. I just want to encourage you with this word as well, to hold on to what you have until the Lord returns or until he takes us home. Hold on with all of your heart to the one who knows your heart who knows your mind, who knows what's going on your, in your life. Hold on to him, cling to him. To him who overcomes and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations. This kind of a promise is just amazing because I don't think that we know what we have coming our way when we're faithful to him. Um, we will rule, it says he will rule with um, them with an iron scepter. He will dash them to pieces like po pottery. Just as I have received authority from my Father, I will also give him the morning star, who is Jesus. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So I just wanted to highlight that we're going to have an incredible authority if we are faithful and do, your, do his will to the end. And um, I just want to encourage you to hold on to what you have until he comes so that you can have this authority and rule and reign with him <clears throat> in, um, in heaven. 
it's going to be incredible. And um, we also every morning have been making some declarations from Igniting Hope Ministries. These are the 35 declarations for the Christmas season. And I am going to read two of them today so that we can, um, yeah, get move along in them because there's so many before Christmas comes. <clears throat> the one that we're on today is number 11, and it says, I am receiving life-changing revelations through the Word in this season. Wow. So I want to just say that again, and you can say it with me. I am receiving life-changing revelations through the Word in this season. Amen. And I also want to declare number 12, I am overcome by unusual and contagious levels of joy and laughter at Christmas. Whoa, I want that so much. That would be awesome to be just overcome by unusual and contagious levels of joy and laughter at Christmas. Lord, let it be. Let it be so. Let it begin today. Yeah, we trust you for incredible levels of joy during this Christmas season and laughter. That would be so awesome. So thank you so much for um, joining with me. I just want to pray for you all and say hello. I'm not sure who's still on here. Hello, Betty, and hello, Paula, Jean. <coughs> the Lord bless you, and thank you so much, Jesus, for coming. Um, and thank you that you'll be coming again. Thank you that as we work our way through Revelation, just as a devotional reading in the mornings, you're showing us who you really are, that you know our hearts, you know our minds. They're, you're completely trustworthy. You're completely faithful and that you are the morning star who comes as the first star in the morning when it is darkest out. And you will come and you do come and you are our beloved morning star. You are the light of the world. We worship you this season. We expect and claim and stand for unusual um, levels of joy and laughter during this season. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Amen. All right, have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye. It's good to see you.